check it. Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Janelle Samora and this is Scent Talk from my closet, the fragrance closet. On this channel, we go over all things fragrance. We cover niche perfume houses. We go into layering combos. We talk about dupes and clones of original fragrances, highlight indie perfume brands, all things fragrance. This week, we're focusing on Kaoli fragrances. So if this is something you're interested in, go ahead and continue watching. Consider hitting that subscription button and the bell so you'll be notified to new videos. If it is your first time watching, I do like to focus on one perfume house or topic at a time. We've been going through Kaoli scents here. Kaoli, I do have their little layering discovery set that I picked up from the Sephora sale. It is currently out at the moment. I will still link it in the description for you guys uh, to maybe sign up for an email um re request on on when it will be restocked i do not have any affiliate links or anything like that but whenever i have the time i will definitely go ahead and link um you know any deals or or what i'm talking about where you could find these uh, wonderful things and if you do not see them in the videos just let me know ask me a question i will i will link it you know in the comments no problem okay for today's review, we are going over Kaoli's Love Fest Burning Cherry 48. In the description, you will also find the link to the very first video where we introduced the house, a little bit of history uh, the, behind the scenes with the creator, all of that, like the reason for starting the house. So 48 is one of those little tidbits. Every single Kaoli scent has a number in the back and the 48 means that it took 48 rounds to get this fragrance the way that they wanted to release it. So um, for notes here, this was a 2022 release and it is an amber woody fragrance. The notes are burning cherry, raspberry, and bergamot. In the mid, we have praline, heliotrope, damask rose, and jasmine sandbach. In the base, palo santo, tonka bean, guayac wood, and bretolide, peru balsam, haitian vetiver, and patchouli. This is a wonderful fragrance. I also have in the description, I played around with this. I did share a couple of MLs uh, with a subscriber that won, I believe the yearly, uh, one of the subscribers that won the yearly um, uh, anniversary video um, giveaway. <laughs> she was like, I wanna try. I'm like, I'll share a couple MLs because I really am enjoying this. Um, I also gave away a full size travel size on the channel when it first was released. I have a video comparing Tom Ford Lost Cherry to Burning Cherry 48. I was hearing a lot of references. Oh, it smells like Tom Ford Lost Cherry. And I'm like, really? The notes are, are not seeming like it's going to go a boozy route. You know, it doesn't have any boozy tones in it. Sure enough, it, it does not. It does take a different route, a different turn. This uh, Tom Ford Lost Cherry does have those boozy tones in them. Now, the cherry does resemble the way that it comes off. The scent of it, does. Re they do resemble each other in the cherry factor. Um, so, yeah, this is just such a great smoky ambery um woody cherry scent it has a, a good solid base to it i was able to get i am whenever i wear it able to get a full day wear out of it without having to reapply very nice it clings to your clothes so so well this is uh, not the type of smoke that you have to reckon, you know, it's not to be reckoned with, the smoke. Like, you, you don't have to, um, like, do I like this? Do I not? I struggle with Mason Margiela's by the fireplace. I feel like I'm standing right next to the fire pit. <laughs> or, you know, uh, roasting marshmallows, legit, like, I can smell the fire. Um, I believe that kind of dissipates towards the dry down, but I never get there. I cannot wear it a full day. Um, this has a, just such a lovely incense vibe, an incensey smoke uh, to where it doesn't smell like it's burning and it's off-putting. It's never off-putting to me. That is how I portray the fragrance on my skin. Um, it does tone down on skin at about the eighth hour mark or so. It's not as loud, but it does remain in your scent bubble. Oh yes, it, it, it has... It has some depth to it and um, it, you know it's not just a simple candied cherry um, this is just 
The cherry is only prominent in the beginning. It starts to fade into the background, but you're left with just the, the most beautiful resinous tones, like ambery, beautiful, um, you know, tones. And it's almost as if your brain remembers there was cherry here, a very prominent cherry in the opening. <laughs> for whatever reason. Uh, I don't pick out the raspberry or any other berry-esque vibes or tones from the fragrance any, any, in any portion of the wear. Um, in the opening, oh my goodness, there's been a fly in here and I'm trying to get it out. Oh, I have, we have a visitor, we have a guest <laughs> in the closet today. Oh my gosh, yeah, I just smell the cherries. I don't pick out any raspberry like I do in my favorite raspberry scent, Essence by Genre Perfumes. Um, you can definitely pick out the raspberry there. So I just get cherry, I really do. Hmm. I, I also don't get a praline and the heliotrope here is not like a very powdery, over cosmetic type feel. This is, this is, it's just, it's blended very well. I truly enjoy K. Ali's Love Fest Burning <laughs> Cherry. And I do have to be in the mood for a cherry fragrance. I know that that's not everybody's cup of tea. Now, how did I wear this today? I, during our um, layering video for Chocolate Frosting Body Butter, I had so many people comment that they wanted to try this chocolate frosting by Day 3 Fragrances. This is a brand new one. <laughs> this is a brand new, where's my other one? I'm like, what? It's because... Let me get it. Here is, this is a brand new one, and here is my, uh, the one I started out with. Look at how far down we've gone. It's, and that's that I use it sparingly. So to me, this chocolate frosting by Day 3 Fragrances is um it's a body butter it's got shea butter cocoa butter sweet almond oil vitamin e oil avocado oil and fragrance and the fragrance is chocolate frosting and it smells exactly like chocolate frosting <laughs> the one you know you put on top of cupcakes now this to me it acts like a melt you put it in your hands and you you know the minute that you warm it up it starts to literally melt into your skin and then just release it's beautiful aroma. So I have noticed that while wearing this underneath my fragrances, it does elevate the scent. Now this was just a limited release, which is why I have a backup. <laughs> um, but I'm not sure if it's available on the site at the moment. If it is, I'll, I'll let you guys know. Um, I'll link it in, in the description bar. So this chocolate oh just so many people's during the chocolate layering video commented oh chocolate and cherry yes this that's what i want to try so i tried it <laughs> this is how i wore it today i applied the you're not supposed to apply this all over all over because you will be a walking chocolate bomb might even get cloying for you just too overbearing um, and um, so I like to put it on my pulse points in the middle of the crease of my elbows, on my wrists, behind my ears. I'll rub it right here on my decolletage area and uh, a little behind my neck as well. Just kind of get, you know, on my, on my shoulders. So just some points. I don't get it like a regular old body butter or cream and rub it all over uh, because this is what I did next. <laughs> I figured... I'll just put there in the centralized spots and then I will go over with Coco Pinks. I have the Voluptuous Body Butter of Black Cherry Upside Down Cake. I was like, yes, I want to add chocolate and I want to add cherry, um, you know, Black Cherry Upside Down Cake vibes to this Burning Cherry 48. I just do. Oh my goodness, this is so wonderful. This, this is one of my favorite. This was tied for number one for Coco Pink so far. I'm not done exploring that house. So this has in it white pound cake, marshmallow, fluff frosting, and juicy wild black cherries. Yum. So I put this all over. This one I did go all over with and uh, on over top of the chocolate frosting. Now, um, after I did that, I was like, where's the chocolate? <laughs> I covered up the chocolate with the cherry. Um, so before applying my, my fragrance, I went ahead with literally maybe two and a half squirts of Coco Noisette from the House of Kais. 
this fragrance right here is chocolate and but we're talking nutella the nutella consistency of chocolate this is not it starts out smelling like straight up milk chocolate and then it just it deepens up to this hazelnut type chocolate it really does i really feel like this i would i would love this in a body butter form um but so i was scared to spray it i was scared to over spray it so i only used about two and a half or so sprays i was like okay chocolate's back <laughs> chocolate's back in the mix and then topped it off here with one two three I think maybe four or so, I think five's pushing it, sprays of the Cherry 48 to tell you that I wore this fragrance and all day long, what would come through was yes, every now and then I'd get a whiff of chocolate um, mixing with the cherry, but I mostly got the Burning Cherry 48. This powered through my layering combo. So I was like, okay, Next time, next time that I do this combo, I will add the Eau de Parfum of the Black Cherry Upside Down Cake instead of the body, or or both the body butter and the, the Eau de Parfum of Cherry Upside Down Cake um, because I, I also lost that scent. This, the Cherry 48 overpowered it. I could not believe it. I also won't be uh, so scared to apply my chocolate fragrance. <laughs> it just seemed like a bit much to me. I was like, no, this is gonna be way too overpowering um, if I apply liberally, you know, all these products. Nope, I went in with a light hand and I I, I learned my lesson. Next time I will apply without being uh, so scared. <laughs> so um, rest assured that this Burning Cherry 48 is a strong fragrance. I mean, it will cut through some powerful stuff. The Day 3 Fragrances Chocolate Body Butter Frosting is super, um, like you can smell it. It comes up at you. At the minute I applied the Black Cherry, it tapered down. After applying the Cherry 48, we were done. I was like, where's Where's my chocolate? <laughs> I was missing it. So yeah, um, I would say if you're gonna try a combo like this, uh, go in pretty heavy with your chocolate because Burning Cherry 48 will obliterate it <laughs> completely. <laughs> I'm like, what? What happened here? <laughs> yeah, so I have to play around with my ratios in order to get a really, a really nice uh, feel for, for what I'm going for. If not, then it just means that this fragrance, the Burning Cherry 48, the, the Peru Balsam in there and the Palo Santo are just way too strong to combine with anything. It's going to overpower anything you try to apply to it. Um, the other thing I was going to say is I applied this last, so maybe applying this first since it is my heavier fragrance and then applying the cherry and the chocolate over, I think maybe that'll get the ratio or the hi <laughs> the little fly uh maybe that'll get the ratio that i was craving that i wanted to get out of the out of the combo we'll see <laughs> it, it all depends i mean you know uh it really does depend so um i will continue to explore have fun with this fragrance it is a good one to me this is full bottle worthy i do not have a smoky cherry in my collection and um, I can see that I am using it and I am reaching for it and I do crave it. I definitely do. It's something that that I, I want to reach for. Okay. Thank you guys so much. That was all for today. I just wanted to talk to you guys about Burning Cherry 48 and uh, what are your experiences with it? I really haven't heard much controversy over longevity. I normally do hear a lot of you know, wishy-washy on the Kaoli fragrance. It's like, oh, that one doesn't last for me. Um, I get a really a full day wear out of this fragrance. It was pretty strong. <laughs> okay, thank you guys so much. Y'all have a blessed your day, your night, or your evening, and you stay safe.